I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of Newzilla. This is a site that Brian Gwynney turned me on to, and I passed it on to Joe Esper, which he has since passed on to you. This site allows you to give students an opportunity to read nonfiction pieces and have practice at answering questions that are similar to those on standardized tests. The questions that you'll find are actually correlated to Common Core standards, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. First of all, once you log in and you can get a free uh, account to use this, you can also pay for an account, uh, but I found that the free tools are good enough for me. You can create a class where you give the students a code and um, the students sign in through that code and then they're members of your class. Uh, here are all the categories of the topics that are available, everything from war and peace to science and even sports, uh, the arts, health, law, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the sports category. And you'll notice that even in the sports category, it's not coverage of games. It's uh, Here's a story about a student who commutes every day between practice and school. And a couple things you can notice about this article, because you see this uh, light bulb here, it tells you that there is a quiz associated with this article. Not all the qui articles have quizzes. This one does. And it tells you which anchor standards are tested on this quiz. I'm going to go ahead and open that article. And you'll see that because I'm a teacher, it asks me which class is it that I want to assign that to. And maybe I want that to be one of the articles that my daughter Gracie reads. So I'll click her on there. Now you'll notice at the very bottom here, it says 790L, and that's the reading level. I can also change the reading level to 380, 460, 650, 790, or max. Max is going to be the uh, level at which it was originally written. And you'll notice that here this was originally published January 4th, 2015, so just a couple days ago, in the Los Angeles Times. New Zealand staff then adapted it to um, these different reading levels. And if you click on the 460 reading level, obviously that's a much lower reading level. Um, it's going to be a shorter article. There's going to be less complicated vocabulary. And then the quiz is going to be different based on the reading level. For example, at the 460 Lexile range, it's picking up the grade 3 standards, whereas at the um, 790 Lexile range, the quiz is going to pick up the grade 5 standards. As the teacher, it tells you what the correct answer is. As a student, it doesn't tell you grade level, but it does give you results when you take the quiz. This may look a little different than when you use it. Um, I'm actually going to expand this and then move my screen around so you can see what it'll likely look like when you see it. So normally what you'll see is the article on the left and then this bar over here to select your Lexile range. And then there's the button to take the quiz. And if you decide you want to use this, not as an online test, but something to print for the students, and of course, you'd either print out varying grade levels or know which grade level you want to assign to each student, or if maybe one student prefers printed material to online work, when you print that article, you'll notice that it provides you with the same text, the same images, and then, as we go to the bottom of the article, there are the quiz questions, too. So if this is something that you decide you want to print, it will also print the quiz questions for the grade level that you're printing out. If you're interested in using New Zealand in the classroom and want to see how to set up a, an account or need help setting up that account, please let me know and I will come by and help you out on your prep hour or whenever we can get together.